Dave Vlog Ooh. is through the finest, isn't he? Yes, from Tesco. From Tesco. Mm, from the finest range yeah. of concerts. One involves um, pulled pork yeah. or pulled beef or something. Both of them involve eating. Well, yes. So, and we're going to be the ones to eat them. Let's have a look at them. And we're going to give you nutritional information here. So, what was going to say? Coming up, walk. Yeah. <laughs> this one really intrigues me. It's a bourbon pulled beef with creamy mash. Sounds really nice. You can see there in the dish. There's the mash. It could look like crispy onions or something on there, I'm not too sure. Maybe we'll find out. And there's the uh, bourbon pulled beef alongside it. So there's your traffic light for this one, all green, all good. And they're suitable for freezing. Whoops, let's get this in. There's your uh, eating instructions. You can microwave them. In fact, it only says microwave on this one. Does it? Yeah. So, there's your ingredients. Let's see if we can get that focus better. Quarters if you need to. Here's the nutrition. Next one is chicken pad thai. Pad thai? Mm. Not about chicken pad, is it? It's what? Thai. <laughs> Tender chicken, mixed vegetables and rice noodles. It's all together in a zingy tamarind, garlic and ginger sauce. Finished with chopped peanuts. Mm. Instructions there, so you just make a wave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's usually the other here, not yeah, in a boat or thing. Another one, microwave. What yeah. if you haven't got a microwave? That's that nice. Oh, I was going to ask you oh, Yeah, I was just about to say, <laughs> going to ask next to her. There's your ingredients. And your nutrition. Did they show you the traffic lights? I don't think they did, did they? There you go. And there's a food plant in the bowl. So, let's get on with it. You're a mad woman. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, it's 4 minutes 30 seconds for mm -hmm. the chicken pad thai. And for the other one, it is four minutes, then stand for one minute, pil film, <laughs> even peel back the film lid, and stay and recover and heat for a further three minutes. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. And they both say, not suitable for oven heating. I just find that really strange. Mm. Okay. okay, so then. we're going to get these done, guys, and we'll see you. At the table.
seven pound fifty. Yeah. The finest range. Yeah. One is a three hundred and eighty gram, and one is a four hundred gram. Mm. Which one's which? That's four hundred. I think so. I can't looks remember. like, doesn't it? It does. That one looks really mm. small. Yeah, but um, I don't know. Let's see. Sorry, Alan. We know you don't like pulled pork, pulled beef. <laughs> We're just testing it. Yeah. Go on then. Away you go. Okay. Let's have a little. Firstly, a close up of what we've got. Okay. Come on then. Very good. Move that around so you can see. I don't think there's a lot of chicken in it. No. It's a few pieces. It's a few but pieces, not. but. They're not great, are they? Mm. We'll see. Okay. And this one. I'll wait for you. Do you want me to do that? The meat looks okay. It does. But, well, um... Did you say there was dried onions on the top of the mash? It, it looked like, yeah. I didn't actually read it. Well, they're not... not they look no. a bit sodden. No. Yeah, obviously, <laughs> in the microwave, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. There's me mash. Ready? I am. Do you want to taste mine? No. No, go on, you taste Taste that. our own and then we'll swap, yeah. Yeah. Mmm. But it's okay. Mmm. This is actually quite nice. Whoops. The, the gravy, the sauce around the meat is very really nice. Is it? Mm. I think the meat feels slightly dry though. Oh. Even though it's, it's in its gravy. It's in all that. Yeah. But it is nice, it is tasty, don't get me wrong. Mm. And it's got like a little kick to that. Spice? Yeah, mm. it's nice, that little kick. Mm. This is nice, you'll like this. So the mash on its own. My only problem is the noodles look a little bit claggy. Mm -hmm. Don't they? And the microwave won't help that. Bit sticky. Really? No. Well, the mash. It's got Tesco's own frozen mash. Why is that rubbish? It's not rubbish, but it's, the frozen mash just tastes much better than does what it? this does. Mm. What's them onion things on the top like then? They are onions. But they're only soft, mm. obviously. Soft onions. Mm. Instead of soft ollies. Soft ollies not in today, is he? No. What about George? Okay. <laughs> Do it's you... another Liverpool saying it. <laughs> Madeline, sorry. Have a look and see what this is like then. Did you taste the chicken mm -hmm. in this one? What was it like? It was only a little piece of chicken. Not it was nice. Video. I like the nuts, the peanuts in it. Mm. Tastes okay, doesn't it? Got a nice flavour, eh? It has, but I just feel like the noodles are just a tiny bit stuck together. Yeah. yeah. It's tasty though. Mm. Don't mind it. That's nice. But I see what you mean about the meat. Mm. It's like the dryness. It definitely. is quite dry. Mm. Mm. It's tasty with the yeah, mash. You this back then when you're ready. Yeah, the mash is a bit. This is nice and flavoursome. Um, but as Tasty says, it is a little bit. Like claggy like everything stuck yeah. together. I mean, it doesn't eat. Not easily coming away. No, I don't like the mash on this. It's not it's, good, is it? It's not at all good. No. That's what I said. The frozen mash was really nice. It was better, wasn't it? Mm. I'll save you some of this. Okay, so we're going to eat this. We are. And as mm. usual, we'll be back to you See in a second. Yeah. Nice coffee. <laughs> nice Enjoy this coffee machine. <laughs> So, 
coffee. It's very nice, that's it. Uh, yeah, I mean, we've had a little swap around. And then uh, swap back. Right. So what are you thinking about the one you had? The, the Pad Thai one was really... The, the flavours were really nice. Mm. I just didn't like that clagginess of the noodles. Mm. But it has made me think that I probably would like Pad Thai done properly. Fresh. Nice and fresh, yeah. Mm. I think it would be nice. Um, the chicken in that there was a little bit... Yeah, there was a piece we there left. Was funny yeah. bits in it, like some and a few colours running through it, yeah, through the meat itself. I'm not eating that. Just don't eat that. Colour. A, bit, a bit veiny looking and things mm. like that. Yeah, um, I wouldn't get that again. I do not think that these meals are worth it at all. No. For two for seven fifty, Tesco finest. They're really not that fine. No, I mean they're okay. They're not. They like, are okay. Not, if you, if you've got these at like three pounds each. Range or something like that. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. You probably say the, the I did say to you that you got at first. Um, can you remember how much these were off camera? That was <coughs> and call them in two for a fiver. Now, yeah. if these had been two for a fiver, then yeah. they probably would have been worth it. Wishful thing. But they weren't two for a fiver. They were two for seven fifty, mm. and they're just not worth it in my opinion. No, not at all. No. I mean, the beef, the bull beef. That sauce yeah, was really nice. Was I really nice. enjoyed that. It was nice. Mm. Um, nice little bit of a spice to it. Nice little kick. Yeah. The mash was just quite ordinary. Bland. Bland, wasn't it? They're ordinary mashed that they do in a frozen like section got. in a bag. Yeah. That's much more tasty. It's it creamier is. and it's it's got a peppery taste mm. to it and everything, hasn't it? Yeah. And it, that's nice. much better. It is. Why well, they didn't use that there, I don't know. Because mm. um, it's not finest. Mm, it's finer than that one. It is. <laughs> but the beef in there, while it was lean, it was dry. Yeah, it was a bit dry. And and pull beef, when you pull beef yeah, or pull pork and like juicy. that, it should be juicy when you pull another mm. part, so it should stay that way, especially if it's in the sauce. Yeah. So when it's done, done fresh, it's obviously overdone that. Put in, yeah. the sauce thrown in, and open that, the sauce is going to moisten it again. Compensate for that. So what are your scores then? You can then? taste the dryness. Mm. Um, I'd probably go a six for that. Mm. And for the Thai dish, I'd probably go a seven. Well, I'm going to go a five because the mash was just non-existent, so that doesn't deserve a score. So. It, well, based based on, it's not that the mash was that. non-existent. It just didn't. It didn't have no flavour. It, it didn't. It didn't have yeah, no taste. Exactly. That's what so I mean. I'm giving it. I'm giving that that dish a five. The pad thai. I'm mm. giving a seven, a six and a half to seven. I went seven for that. Yeah. I six for that, didn't I? Yeah. The reason what I'm saying about the mash is that while the mash was flavourless. It wasn't a horrible mash, it wasn't a, a sloppy mash, it wasn't no, that it kind wasn't. of thing. It was firm but, enough. Yeah, but it just didn't have no flavour. Yeah, I know, that's all I mean. Could have been the anything. Difference, the difference Made in that. Look like mash. Compared to the other, yeah. Anything. Could have been anything. Made to look like mashed potato. Okay. Egg whites. Don't be silly now. Could have been. <coughs> so, yeah, mm. we wouldn't recommend them. No. I'm sure there's much better and we've had much better out there yeah but it's back to that same old thing where we have had things from tesco before yeah and we've been disappointed yeah same old thing same again we've had things from tesco and we've been getting disappointed there's only the odd thing that comes out yeah. okay like the mash yeah up to yeah. now probably out of all our shot it's the mash that's it's the mash. seems to be the frozen the mash. thing and the yeah. um the chili Concarni meal that we yeah, had for the calorie I mean, control. They were okay. Things. You'd expect them not to be too flavoursome because of but the chili was okay, cal- wasn't calorie it? control. Yeah. So I would. They were okay. Mm. Um, oh well. So I don't know whether we'll be going to Tesco anytime soon again. I don't think so. But we give us a good length of time since the last yeah. ones, didn't we? Yeah. And they'll be seeing some new things and hopefully get yeah. thought, oh yeah. They pulled us in again, didn't they? Yeah, disappointed again. Mm. Anyway. Oh well. 
hopefully we'll be able to get out more. Mm -hmm. Give you as this weather so called weather improves. Mm. So called. Oh my god. That's the coffee machine <laughs> switching itself off, guys. It's not. It's the canister opening up. Forty eight yeah, hour. Yeah, yeah. The oh, beans the, the bean canister. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway. Let the air back in. Yeah. It actually does excuse me, it doesn't until you open the lock. No, it's got to let some in. Well, yeah, it's, it's got to allow it. It does, but so when it. you open the lock, it goes tss, mm. like a bottle. Anyway, that's good. Tss, oh. like a bottle. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm good to see you. See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Take care. Right, nearly. Bye. Don't forget now. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>